تعالي شوف ركبت ركبت محمد Of course, to my amazing people, my name is Edgar Diambo and I am a freelance journalist from Nairobi, Kenya. So apparently guys, my partner took watch a certain clip up on bio. It's one of the clips currently, I think, pia mipata kuenda viral sana. And uh, this is a clip ni ya msichana flani. And according to msichana ni kwa mbalikuwa ni kama alikuwa na jaribu kutoroka. Yeah? Kutoroka kutoka mbali uh, the, uh, the place ambayo alikuwa nafanya kazi. So sababu zaki kuwa ama sababu zaki ambazo napata kufanya ye kutoroka. Ayapati bado kufambia kwa sababu tunajua sometimes msichana anaweza kuwa na shida amejaribu kupigia ofisi amejaribu kufanya nini na nini but unfortunately ajapata usaidizi au uh, usaidizi totally usaidizi totally na wamejaribu wamejaribu ajapata usaidizi now anaenda to the next time but anataka sasa kutoroka now as you can see ni kwamba uh, i just want to guys nataka tu muache video kwanza and then i get to uh, really explain the reason as to why nili uh, yani nimetaka kuongelea hiyo story sana just take your time watch this video and then i tell you the reason as to why we are talking about it tale so for kabot kabot hamad وانا بيروح انت كله صور كله صور كا يلا 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 So guys, ukijaribu okay, kutazama hiyo video ni mwanadada ambaye amepata kuvaa inaitwa baba abaya amevaa vizuri amehakikisha kwamba ameleta zile vitu. Now, there is somebody ni neighbor wa ule uh, Mwarabu eh. Is like huyu ni neighbor wa ule Mwarabu ni kama unajua sometimes ni kama inasemekana kwamba most of the time huyu uko Saudi watu wapendi kuinteract sana. But ni kama wanapata kufamiana. Anajua hizi vitu huwa sasa zinatokea ama pia tuseme kwake Ashai kuwa na mfanya kazi ya kapati kutoroka. Now, alipona kama kuna zile suspicious pali kidogo kidogo mjio msichana nisa kuja hivya naangalia. Msichana natoka inja naangalia kama hiyo taxi mefika. Anatoka inja kuna wasiwasi. Anatoka inja na baga na ficha mahali. Now is like this person alikuwa curious. Anataka kujua, ah, huni kama anataka kutoroka. Na ni kama, warajua kumbo msichana nukumi kuwa kitoroka. Sa alikuwa nataka, akajua hii, wacha alisani rekodi. Yeah. Now, Uyo mwanadada akiwa na rekodi anarekodi wa yafa hapo anajua kama anarekodiwa totally. Na huyo jamaa amenyamaza tu like huyo Mwarabu mwenye alikuwa the other side amenyamaza tu amenyamaza tu anaona tu amfanya kazi wa jirani yake anataka kutoroka. Nao mwanadada amepaka vitu amepanga vitu vizuri amepanga vitu vizuri amepanga vitu vizuri anataka kutoroka kutoroka. Anataka kutoroka kutoroka. So a jamaa akaendelea kurekodi. Nao ile taxi ilipofika pale huyu mwanadada akatoka vitu akachukua vitu zake haraka kaingia kwa taxi msana ndao kutoka na wakienda kutoka kule jamaa ambaye alikuwa na rekodi pale juu akaanza kwambia wewe wewe is like now anaopigia kelele yani oh nimeona nimeona nini hili wewe mnaenda flenga hapo na mtorokesha eh hey, nini nini nao is when now ule jamaa wa taxi akasema bwana siwezi enda na huyu huyu nikiana na yeye na tayari mimi ni mtu wa taxi nitasemwa na Uh, nitapat nita, nita, nita kesi unajua nitakuwa kesi sasa hivi mwarabu anaweza sema oh unajua vinyo mwarabu anakoga sometimes kwa hiyo waseme pale leo mshana alipata kutujia nao ule jamaa aka ata nini aratafutwa kwa sababu taxi unajua kuna zile taxi and you, you must be registered utangalia gari nani nani alikuwa dereva huyu taxi apelekane mpaka mahali alikupeleka you see so guys the reason why as to why nilikuwa nataka niongelee kitu Najua kwamba sometimes unapata umefikiwa sana. Umefikiwa sana, umejaribu sana, umejaribu sana, 
kadri wezavyo i'm not advising people to kemboi rule number one, kwanza kwa hii video i'm not advising anybody apate kutoroka kutoa contract but tafadhali sometimes ni vizuri sana pia kujificha to an extent kama unajua exactly what the reason as to why unatoroka pale kwa contract umejaribu lakini mehilikana sasa unaamua utoke kwa contract always look for a better alternative kitu ambayo inaweza fanya yani kitu inaweza kutorokesha wacha kutafuta taxi yenye kuna stacker but sometimes jaribu kuficha zile identity watu wasijoni gari gani ul travel nayo juu sasa i don't know exactly huyu mwarabu akionyeshwa ile video aone venye alikuwa anataka kutoka i don't know the next time unaweza fanyia nini unaweza muweka to next time aweze atatoka anaweza kuwa anatoka kwa sababu ya sababu ya kufinyiliwa kazi nyingine kupigwa kudhulumiwa kimapenzi ameona amechoka mjaribu kuongelesha agent amejaribu kupiga simu huku na kule but hakuna mtu anamsaidia so ameamua kutoroka na imagine ule jamaa amerekodi ile video na bali ya kupigiwa kelele kelele ule msichana amerudi pale i've seen most of the people sijui kama nyinyi mngefanya exactly what this lady did you have after ku, kupigiwa kelele ule mwarabu mwenye alikuwa na record huku na huku ya kaamua kurudi kwa ile nyumba amekata tutamaka akasema no let me just go back niona watanifanyia nini sasa wacha nirudi basi kwa wewe binafsi ingekuwa ni wewe personally at a personal level kama unajua exactly what you have been going through unajua exactly zile zile vitu zile uh, changamoto ambazo umekuwa ukipitia kwa ile nyumba i don't know kama wewe unaweza rudi pale hmm? tell me the comment section unaweza rudi tuseme tu umepata hiyo fursa umetoka pale nje unajaribu kutoroka alafu kidogo kidogo ume ah la la nini nini where you heading to nini nini alafu tena unaweza rudi kweli kwa ile nyumba so most of the people nasijua atasema nini but me personally sijui exactly that sijui Nimejaribu pia kuangalia nimeona watu wakipeana advice that if you want to kemboi don't kemboi using a taxi kama ile tafuta tu driver gari nyingine kuja kuchukua but now what aki watu huko kila mtu akona hii mambo na ku record ku post hii mambo sasa tokitoroka hivi kidogo kidogo anajua gari gani lilikutokea nini nini maswali mengi alikupeleka wapi Guys, kutoroka we, we know exactly sometimes unapitia mingi sana. But now kutoroka ati yani wewe unatoroka tu watu wanatoroka. Au au unatoroka tu watu wanatoroka. Na look at the means ya huyu msana ya kutoroka. So ilipofika pale amepata kutoroka. Amepata kutoka nje. Amepata kutoka nje. So it means huyu msana amepata kutoka nje. Angeamua hata huyu huyu ukitaka kujua exactly huyu msana hata siye alikuwa anaenda tuseme anaenda hata kwa polisi hapana huwa alikuwa na kemboi direct ni kama juu ilikuwa anaenda kwa polisi hiyo time alipigiwa hala hala angekataa angeshuka na chukua bado virago vyake juu taxi yake ingembeba juu ile jamaa wa taxi kama alimwambia shuka shuka angechukua zile vitu na kanyage mguu sasa basi wewe endelea ku record mimi na natoka naendaka nikisonga but as you can see mama bali alipigiwa hala hala tena kubeba virago zake amerudi kwa nyumba mbio mbio imagine imagine na utapata yeye amepanga 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 amekuwa kipanga jinsi ambavyo atatoroka amekuwa kipanga and sometimes also ni kama atalipea alipeana alilipa kwanza ndio akuja ama alilipa nusu ndio akujiwe alilipa taxi pesa ya taxi nusu ndio akujiwe that's why wanasema wanasema 100% guys wacha niwaambie msana kitoroka zile taxi zenye huwa bebwa haya ni zile gari ambazo zinawabebaga wanasemaga sije yo driver driver au ma driver au ubebaga wasichana kutoroka as kwa zile zile ziko like uh, That's why is they, they are always too expensive. Unasikia pesa ya driver, pesa ya driver. Utasikia wasichana wakipigana, wakipigana au makimboi ama wale watu ambao umetoka pale kwa contract wakipigana, wanataja sana mambo na sijui uh, pesa ya driver because kukemboisha is this person is an a risk, an a risk. Hmm? Aliambia msichana weshu, weshuka because we can't. Mimi siwezi taka ku risk. Hapana we shuka. That's why utapata msichana anachajiwa pesa, pesa tasli ila torokesho anachanamchaji pesa taslim so ukitaka kutoroka ukitaka kutoa contract umejaribu zile mikakati zako tafadhali as possible try to look for another alternative but siku kiboy you obvious utatoka hapo uende pale nje ukose pesa ule jambo mwenye alikutorokesha anataka pesa na alijulikana kama utaenda upate 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 kazi kufanya kazi kukilipa umepata kuna kazi kidogo kidogo sawa na kulazimisha wewe utaanza kupigia watu kwenye simu wanataka pesa Guys just begin. Mimi siwezi advise. Yaani siwezi sema mambo mingi sana but I know the life of being like a runaway ama kemboi it is a tough. 
sio kila mtu anaweza hata the other time muona hapa kuna mwanadada amepata kupigwa sana amepigwa amebamniwa vibaya sana na wa na nini atu Nigerian wa ma Nigerians alikuwa na date sijua ma Nigeria wawili kidogo kidogo mambo ikakuwa segemnenge wakapanga ah huyu mchana si ndio huyu pia ni wangu huyu pia wewe anasema wewe mchana ni wangu wa habana si unajua tunatoka kwa country moja tuweze pigana wacha humo acha kuja wacha tumwambie akuje mali fulani mmoja akamdanganya kuja mali fulani kwenda pale akapata wale watu wake wawili na kumbe msana amekula kichapo hata kare ile atujue hata situation yake iko nje sofa hmm? but uko pale contract is easier ukuwa na zile ripoti and then to the ladies ambao wana travel before you travel make sure umepata kupiga copy za zile vitu zako umepata kutuma Kenya umeputuma kwa mahali pia umesave mahali so that in case uko na shida there is an easy way wanaweza kutrace upate huko maeneo gani upate kupiga simu wajue exactly how everything is going on with you but the moment unatoka hapa Kenya una hata kuna enda hata kope enda hata ngatafuta simu ndio utoke nchini tafuta smartphone piga picha document zako upewe watu wa queen so that in case uko na shida it is easier to trace mambo na kukemboi i will never address i will never never even siwezi kubali mtu afanye kitu kama hiyo because i know the kind of toughness najua si kupenda kwa wengine but wengine pia ni kupenda kwao guys let's stick on our lane tujue exactly chenye litupeleka kwa tumeona mambo mingi sana mpaka sasa hizi wanasemekana kwamba wasiana wengi wanapata kufariki but ni wa Kenya wana uana wenyewe kwenyewe which according to me currently mpaka sasa hizi bado sina that kind of crew but naomba kwamba Mungu aendelee kujalia kila mtu watu endelee kupambana Mimi well, guys tupatane on my next video I goes by the name Ed Gorian of Freelance Journalist from Nairobi Kenya. Okay, sana. Thank you for always tuning in. Make sure unapata ku subscribe to this amazing YouTube channel for more updates.